Intellectual property is a domain of different um, systems of private rights that, uh, that we establish in law that operate in a way that's very analogous to conventional property in, uh, in land or in tangible uh, physical items or even in other kinds of intangibles that we recognize as property like your bank account, which is not physical, um, but, uh, but which we think of as being yours. Uh, intellectual property is, uh, broadly speaking, it's a category that in U.S. law, um, uh, U.S. federal law embraces um, a couple of different major categories of uh, areas that can be protected. We protect inventions that inventors come up with, basically new technologies. That's the domain of patent law. We protect expressive works. Um, they may be creative, like a, uh, a fine painting or a sculpture, or they may be quite technical, like an owner's manual. Um, but where we're, where we're dealing with expressive communicative works, um, uh, protection may be available under the law of copyright. And both of those are contemplated and expressly authorized in Article I uh, of the Constitution, which grants Congress the power to create patent and copyright laws. We also have trademark laws. Trademark laws protect essentially uh, brands or business names, um, the names that are used and other ways of signifying where particular products come from or that, that a, a particular set of products uh, comes from the same place. Um, uh, whether it's your Nike swoosh or um, any number of other ways in which we signify that a product comes from one particular source and not from another. And really, who the, if you think of a patent or a copyright as representing itself a kind of ownership, the question is who owns the thing that's subject to copyright? Who owns the thing that's subject to the patent? Um, so those are some pretty uh, significant similarities. On the other hand, there are some differences. Uh, when you walk down the street, you've got a pretty good idea what's private property and what's not when you're on the sidewalk versus when you're on someone else's land. When, when it comes to uh, something that's subject to patent or copyright, you might not know that. You might not know that there's a patent or a copyright at all, and you might not know that uh, patent or copyright extends to the particular activity that you're engaged in. That can happen more with copyright uh, than with patent. Um, and it can be hard to know exactly what the boundaries of the protected uh, item are. What is the limit of the technological principle that's embodied in my patent? What, that is to say, what would count as copying my, uh, let's say, the plot of a movie that I wrote or copying a musical composition that I wrote? There can be very much more difficult boundary questions in those situations. Uh, and likewise also with, with other areas of IP.